Hey, good morning everyone. Tuesday morning, the 23rd of February, 2021. This morning's devotion is a reading from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28, which reads, Like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. Or, as the Amplified Version puts it, He who has no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. When you walk down the road or take a drive, there is something that we all see and may even possibly comment on about the different walls and barriers that we may see next to the road or even surrounding a property. Some of them are tall, some of them are, are small, so you can step over, and other, others of them are similar to the Great Wall of China. Now, the Great Wall of China is a massive structure by any standards. It spans a distance of almost 22,000 kilometers, and it is visible from space. So this is one little structure that you will not miss. But here is the question. Why was the Great Wall of China built? Well, it was built to keep the raiding parties of the nomadic tribes outside. Was it successful? Yes, it managed to keep the raiders outside. Granted, there was the odd occasion where the raiders managed to breach the defenses, but those were very few and far between. So why am I telling you this? The purpose of a wall or a fence or even a barrier is to identify whose property it is. And the second one is, as the name implies, it is a barrier to protect us from outside attacks. However, in order to be effective, these barriers need to be maintained on a regular basis as any breach would give the enemy a terrible advantage over you. There is a wall in your self-defense system, the wall called self-control. And this wall needs to be maintained on a daily basis, as your failure to maintain self-control is like opening the gates of the city and issuing an invitation for all your enemies to come in and attack you. Now, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Personal boundaries are the physical, emotional and mental limits we establish to protect ourselves from being manipulated, used or violated by others. They allow us to separate who we are and what we think and feel from the thoughts and feelings of others. Anything that takes away your vision for Christ or takes away your taste for prayer or even scripture reading or even cramps your life is wrong and we need to turn away from them in order to live a fruitful life for God. My dear friends, have your boundary walls been breached or have they fallen into a state of disrepair through neglect? If they have, do something about it today. Don't wait for someone to step in and build your boundary walls. They're your walls to build. And if anyone else builds them, they will build them to their own specifications. Do something about it if they are damaged. Do something about it if, they've, if the defenses have been breached. Do it before it is too late. With those words, my prayers, may the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.